All right, so this is the starting line. <laughs> You're missing a guard. The yeah. cost is there. <laughs> Make sure you hit that bell for more Bills news. It's not a, you can't put a garbage can there, Mario. It crosses on the roster. He's, I get your point. But here's the fascinating part about it. Inseki and Feliciano have 24 career starts. <clears throat> Deion Dawkins has 27. Yeah. Here's the thing that immediately came to mind, because you know how I, I like to dumpster dive for, for, different, um, for different statistics and things that are going on. He's played in, he has 56 career games. He was picked up by St. Louis in 2012, and then he took like three years off. And then he got picked up by Washington. He never, he didn't play. He didn't play. For three years? I don't find any statistics on him for pro football reference. It was 2012, 2015. I don't know if he was in Canada. I don't know if he played at all. I didn't hear anything about him being a Canadian player. That's fascinating. He's 6'8", 340 pounds. Is he Trent Brown White? He's a big dude. So that, big dude. that, and then Feliciano <laughs> is the same way. He hasn't started a lot of games. Feliciano's a little bit more aggressive than he needs to be, though. Like no, even I, Brandon Bean called that out. He's like, yeah, you know, he's got some learning to do. Sometimes he likes to dump guys when he just doesn't have to dump guys. <laughs> he's Italian. Stop. Stop this segment right now. Feliciano said that he prefers ranch over blue cheese with chicken wings. Does he make it? To the, to the week one roster. I don't even think he makes out of St. John Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, we were talking about the, 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 this line and things that were going on with the line. A lot of people wanted uh, Roger Saffold. A lot of people wanted, and I know what I'm doing. You know, Roger Saffold, what? I wanted him, I know. And then Trenton Brown. No, man, if we can get Roger Saffold and Trenton Brown on the left side of that line, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. So you got Trent Brown, who's 25. You got Roger Saffold, who's 30. And half your cap space is gone. Yeah, yeah. Like, as far as those guys go. Those contracts were. Half and, your cap space is gone. And then I looked at it, and the first thing that came to my mind was Moneyball. I don't know why, because I, I took a deep dive into uh, Insiki and Feliciano. I go, okay, all right, on the surface, this guy's 33 years old. Why did they sign him to a two-year, $14 million right. deal? What's going on? He's 33. And then you take a look at his stats. He's played 56 career games. He's only started 16. Main point in that is that in those 56 games, he only has three holding calls. Right. And he's been a guy who, then, when called upon, can dominate. Well, and can play either side of the line. And yeah. I know that. I think that gets underplayed a lot. There are guys who simply cannot play right tackle. They just, no. They're not efficient at it. I think it's important to call out the guys who can play right and left tackle. That's an important skill to have because you've got some marquee players who can only play the right side because you move them over to the other side, it's they walk like a baby giraffe. <laughs> you know? That's pretty good. But it's true. Like you, it's. I think it's important. Everything is backwards mm -hmm. when you move from the right to the left. So you really have to be a good athlete to be able to move from one side to the other because everything is backwards. Even the things that you process visually are backwards. Which, even the things that we, I mean, we hammer Dawkins, but he could play right tackle. He could. He could. He could swing back and forth. That's, I mean, that's one he of the could. reasons they got him. Um, yeah, and the thing, the, thing about it, the thing about it is, okay, this guy's 33 years old, but what is his real tread? So he's not, he's not a 33-year-old in football years, technically. Because he hasn't played that much. He's only started 16 games. In the games that he's played, he's never played more than 40% of snaps in a season. Right. So do you worry about his stamina if they want to make him a starting left or right tackle and just like, you're going to stay there for 16 games? Maybe. The contract that concern you. The contract dollar amount got me a little bit. So there must have been a few teams after him to pay a backup swing tackle. 14. No. Starter money. They're yeah. paying him starter money. You know? Like that's Seven mil a year? Yeah, just about. But the fascinating thing about it is him and Feliciano, if you put those two guys on the left side, um, those two guys are, are, are money ball candidates. Yeah. Because you're like, okay, even though Feliciano too, but the thing about it is the thing that gave me was a two-year contract. The Bills could still go out and get oh, sure. other linemen. Absolutely. 
because that, that's your insurance policy that you're yep. getting right now. But yep. those two guys, and then nothing against Teller, nothing against Dawkins. I think if you put those two mon monsters on the left hand side, Feliciano's a pretty big dude, too. He's a big dude. Um, so then you got 6'8, 340, and I think, I can't remember what Feliciano is. I, you know, he's probably like 6'4, 6 6 325. Oh, big dude. I mean, you got just, and then you got Morse now over there, and then you right. put Dawkins at right tackle, and you don't know who your right guard is going to be. Um, who'd you say it was now? <laughs> Rubbermaid. <laughs> it just it just fascinates me that for almost a third of the cost of yeah. Brown and Saffold, you can have a line that's a serviceable line that you know, like we and can find and value honestly, in players that nobody can and find. honestly replaceable. Right? Yes, and none of these moves. The Bills can roll in with the roster they have to Week One right now, and I can't say that about a lot of teams. The Bills have enough depth across every position that they, they could really start the season tomorrow. Cut down to 53 right now and start the season tomorrow. And I can't say that about a lot of teams. That is a fascinating fact. Especially yeah. since when you look at it, they got 60-plus guys in the roster. They're going to add another 10 in the draft. Six. What? <laughs> well, right now they're going to add another yeah. 10. So it's yeah. a numbers game. Like, you're, any guys you're playing with house money in the fifth, sixth, seventh round, you're, you're looking at those guys not even making the roster at this point. Yeah. So you can, those, <clears throat> pick, those picks then become expendable at the draft. Right, they sure you do. You can bundle them in with anybody you want. They sure do. Uh, you can move however you want because those picks, the fifth, sixth, seventh round picks, really almost retain no value because you don't have roster space for them. If you're, I'll give you a better example, right? Let's say the you're Rams. The, the Rams. They've got nobody on their team. You need fifth, sixth, and seventh round picks because they're controllable contracts and they have a chance of making the roster. Be, like just that. from a numbers perspective, it's very possible they're going to make the roster. With the Bills, you've got so many guys already under contract. The odds that those fifth, sixth, seventh round picks making the roster, way slimmer. Way slimmer. So those are those are the ones that always get <clears throat> loaded out. And I love those fifth, sixth, seventh rounders. I mean, oh, they're going to yeah. trade this, 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 uh, fifth. Those are always the throwing ones I love. Yeah. Like they're trading a third and a seventh for this yeah. guy. You know what I mean? Right. That's fine. And they could still, they still equipped themselves with the cap space to take on a contract if they need yep. to. Yep, sure do. And that's fine. Yep. They've got plenty of money. And, and remember, whatever they don't spend this year rolls oh. into next year. And I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Speaking of rolling, we got 100 likes on that video, by the way. No, we didn't. No, we did. Get out of here. To hell with the 87 people that liked it this morning. We're still going to drive from the lobby. Maybe there's, uh, yeah, right? There's hope. Yeah, there's hope still. Throw them out of the car. You guys suck. <laughs> Come on, I'm usually the, the antagonist here. <laughs> Let the bad guy win for once. You guys really want to know what an episode would be like without me? Really? We're at that point in our relationship. Oh, dust your shoulder off. We want to start. We want to start driving with other people. Is that what you're telling me? Is this it? No. <clears throat> Is this where it ends, Mario? No comedic effect. That's <clears throat> it. That's it. Next episode, you're driving. <laughs>